Hi there. In the following video, I will answer question 6, June 2008, of the OCR Core 4 A level papers. Again, it's a question on vectors. Let's have a look straight away. This question was an 8 mark question, and it said that two uh, equations of lines are, are as follows. Remember, here's a position on the line, a point on the line, and here is the direction of the line. And again, here's the position of the second line and the direction of that second line. Show that the lines intersect. Okay, the lines intersect if their two vector equations are equal to each other. So, uh, the way I'm going to show this, I'm actually going to write R1. I'm going to rewrite that as something else. I'm going to write that instead of 1, uh, 0, 5 plus T lots of this, I'm going to combine it into one uh, sort of column vector. So, 1 plus 2T... Uh, in the i direction, 0 plus 3t, so that's just 3t, and minus 5 plus 4t, which I'm going to write as 4t minus 5, okay? And the other uh, vector equation, I'm going to do the same thing, that's 12 plus s, it's 0 minus 4s, and it's 5 minus 2s, 5 minus 2s. Now, if they intersect, their i component would be the same, their j component would be the same, and their k component would be the same. So, if intersect, you can write the following equa equations must be true. 1 plus 2t must equal 12 plus s. 3t must equal minus 4s. And 4t minus 5 must equal um, 5 minus 2s. There's equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. Okay, now we've got three equations. Uh, let's just, from this equation, we can say that t is minus 4 thirds s, dividing both sides by 3. Okay, and I'm going to sub, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that equation 4, I'm going to put 4 into 1. Okay, so I would get 1 plus 2 lots of this, which would be minus 8 thirds s, is equal to 12 plus s, and adding 8 thirds s to both sides and subtracting 12 from both sides, I'd get minus 11 would be equal to 1 plus 8 thirds s, which would be 11 thirds s, and that would give me uh, that s would be equal to minus uh, 3. s would be equal to minus 3. And then subbing it back into uh, the, the top equation there, or subbing it back into here, that would give me that t, therefore, if s was minus 3, minus 4 thirds times minus 3, uh, it would give me t is equal to 4. Okay, now that means what equations have we used? We've used equation 1 and equation 2. Let's just check t is 4 and s is minus 3 works in these equations. So 4t would be 4 times 4 minus 5, which would be 16 minus 5, which is 11. And on the other side, we would get 5 minus 2 lots of minus 3, minus 2 times minus 3 is 6, 5 plus 6 is 11. And so you can say, so uh, s equals minus 3, t equals 4, um, satisfy all equations. Okay, and therefore the lines meet. So lines meet, and then so lines R1 and R2 meet as required. Okay, moving on to uh, part two of the same question, uh, we want to find the angle between the lines. Now, I'm just going to, uh, to make matters easier, let A be the vector 2, 3, 4, that's the direction vector of line R1, <clears throat> and I'm going to let B be the direction vector of R2, which is 1 minus 4 minus 2. Now remember, to work out the angles between the lines, I've done this before, we can forget the position vector uh, uh, on the line, the a point on the line, we just compare the directions of the line and use uh, the dot product, the a dot b is equal to the modulus of a times the modulus of b times cosine of the angle between them, 
And so if we want to work out the angle, we use the formula that the cosine of the angle is modulus of, uh, is a dot b, sorry, all divided by mod a times mod b. Okay? Shouldn't have been a dot there. Okay, so now we're just going to do that. We're going to work at a dot b, and we're going to work at mod a and mod b. We're going to plug it into this formula, work out cos of the angle, and then work out the angle. Very straightforward. Okay, so a dot b. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. And 4 times minus uh, 2 is minus 8. Combine these together, and we would get minus 18. Done the a dot b bit. What is the modulus of a? Well, it's the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared, okay, which is 4 plus 9 is 13 plus 16, which is 29. So it's the square root of 29. And what's the modulus of b or the magnitude of b? Well, it's the square root of the squares of each of the components. So it's the square of 1 plus the square of minus 4 plus the square of minus 2, okay, this is 1, plus 16 is 17, plus 4 is 21, so it's the square root of 21. Okay, so plug it into this formula here, therefore the cosine of the angle between the two is a dot b, which is minus 18, divided by the square root of 29, multiplied by the square root of 21. So, type this in the calculator. And we get that the cosine of the angle is minus 0.7293968, etc. Keep that in the memory of your calculator. To work out the cos of the angle, uh, take the inverse cos of uh, this. And you get the answer 137 degrees to three significant figures. I hope you found that video useful in your revision for vectors for core four. Thank you for listening.